Hi, I'm Gareth, and I'm going to be showing you how to make sangria, which is a Spanish drink dating back to the 1700s, and the name comes from the Spanish word for blood, which is sangre. Um, traditionally, it's made with um, orange, lemon or lime, and apple, but really you can add any fruit you like, so I'm going to be adding strawberries and plums. Uh, it's just that some red wine like Garnaca or Pinot Noir um, and a little bit of brandy but you can also add orange liqueur for a more modern take and to make it a bit boozier. So first you're gonna want to wash the hell out of all your fruit and then you're gonna dice it up real small. Run about a coconut, he bought it for a diamond sister Had another one, she paid it for the lime She put the lime in the coconut Drink and bottled up, she put the lime in the coconut she... So this drink dates all the way back to the Middle Ages um, from Spain and Portugal and when you cut up your fruit you're going to want to make sure you keep all the rinds on and you want to dice it up real small because you're going to want to serve your glass with bits of fruit in it as well. All right, so after you've chopped up all your fruit, you wanna just dunk it in your pitcher or punch bowl or what have you. Not like that. Probably fast forward to that part. So that's a lot of fruit. Um, but traditionally, you also want to uh, squeeze an orange into there, um, as well as the chopped one. But I only have the one orange, so I'm just going to use some orange juice. And this adds a lot of sweetness to the wine. Uh, and I'm going to say that's pretty good, probably. And now, when you pick a wine for this, you're going to want to use... Garnacha, Garnacha? Um, or Pinot Noir, something not too dry, um, low tannin, a little sweet. And this is actually from Spain, so we're being real fancy today. Yeah. I'm gonna nail it this time. You got it. I know I got it. Oh. Okay. Looks so refreshing. It smells really good too. All right, that's pretty full. A lot fuller than I meant for it to be. Um, now, the secret ingredient gonna add probably like maybe half a cup of brandy um, makes it a little boozier a little more of a treat and obviously not in the middle ages they didn't add orange liqueur but it's kind of like the more modern take on it adds a little more sweetness brings out the orange even though there's already plenty of orange in there so you want to just kind of mix it around, muddle the fruit if you can, and really you just want to make it to taste. Like if you want it a little sweeter, just add more orange juice or more orange liqueur. Uh, you can even do a simple syrup, which is a one-to-one -one mix of sugar and water. You can do agave syrup, you can do maple syrup, which some people do. Oh, and you can also do honey. Actually, that sounds good. I should have done honey. Um, and if you want it a little boozier, just add more brandy. Um, but after you mix it up, give it a good muddle. Take a little taste test, see how it's going to turn out. It's delicious. Very delicious. I think... I think it's good. Plenty sweet, plenty 
boozy. So you want to just keep it in the fridge and let all of that fruit infuse. Okay. So after you let that sit in the fridge for at least 30 minutes or up to two hours, it's ready to be served. And just pour it out. Make sure you get a couple of bits of fruit in the bottom of your glass there. Uh, now this traditionally is meant to be a very uh, social drink, you know, it's a punch. So serve it at a party or from a punch bowl. Uh, they serve it at just about every festival in Spain. Um, you know, you have it with tapas or any kind of chorizo based dish. Um, it's great. Cold on summer nights on a picnic. Um, and also they serve it in Spain. They serve it hot in the winter time. Uh, but let's give it a try. Mm. Delicious. Refreshing, fruity, a little boozy. It's really good. Be good with some tacos too. Mm. But that was sangria. Cheers.